around the subject. But you should uh, come. Yeah, Let's go. So. Yeah, yeah. His middle name is Shoes. Orion <laughs> Shoes Samuelson. Yeah. Tap Shoes. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll see you at one thirty, sir. I'll be back. Twelve forty. Uh, Steve will cover the news at one, and we'll get a preview of that coming up here in uh, just a few minutes. There's a story of semi-local interest, which is kind of amusing. There's a woman named Sharon Rosenthal. She stole $3,000 apparently from, I don't know, a pension fund or somehow through a business or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. uh, got hit with a class one felony. Yeah. The judge has come up with some creative sentencing. He said, Sharon, you can do three months in jail mm -hmm. or <clears throat> you can take your four Packers tickets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the three game series that you have. They suggest three of the eight home games. Yeah. She got four good seats for three of the eight home games. Yeah. And you can give those to charity. <laughs> That's the option? The, the charity can sell them off and make money. So you can either go to prison for 90 days and keep your tickets <laughs> or give your tickets to charity, no jail time. Wow. That's a tough call. For Packer fans, it's a very tough call. But it, it occurred to me as I was driving in this morning, yeah. at a couple minutes before showtime, <laughs> that I'm not sure, but I know there's something that I wouldn't be willing to give up. In other words, I would go to prison. Yeah. So given the option, Yeah. give it some thought in the break. We'll All come right. back. 312-591-7200. What would you do 90 days in jail for as opposed to giving it up? Great There's got to be something in your life. Yeah. And you can't say my kids. Yeah. Obviously, we'd all go to jail for, well, most of us would go to jail for our kids. <laughs> Bill would, I would. I can't speak for the rest of you. But it can't be your kids. All right. Uh, but what would you do 90 days for? What would you not be willing to it's give up? It's a great up? question. All right. 312-591-7200. Steve will preview the news before we get to that. And all that's coming up on WGN Radio. You're just in time. It's a body contouring oh. gel. For another girlfriend science project. Any hard time, George? Uh, can't say that I have. You can get the smoky cheddar quarter pound double stack. And the fix and mix frosty with candy toppings. Can I just say, you make it sound sexy. Oh, you do. Beef. <laughs> I like a little beef in my frosty, too. Is that true? Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> make it a protein shake. <laughs> you know, Wendy's new value choices menu also has the junior bacon cheeseburger. There's two crisp, fresh side salads. You like the salads? I like Love the sides. And I like them on the side. Yeah, do you like a dressing? What's your dressing? Uh, uh, French. Choice? You're a French guy. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not a fan of the French. Why not? I what like the blue cheese. Blue cheese, nothing wrong with the blue cheese. Blue cheese is good. Maybe on a holiday I might go in and say blue cheese, but normally I just go French. Is the Roquefort the same as the blue cheese? I've not had the Roquefort, so I can't tell. It's I'll... a variation on the blue cheese, isn't it? It's a slight variance. Yeah. You like a little crumble on your blue cheese? Sometimes I will straight? crumble it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wendy's new Value Choices menu also has uh, for you uh, everything on it between 99 cents and a buck thirty-nine. So it's great. Any who in their right mind couldn't go in and buy that? that well, that's I mean, a, you should. That's what you need. We can't do it for you, people. All we can do is tell you it's there. Yeah. Wendy's, you can eat great even later. All participating Wendy's, and thank you, Wendy's, for sponsoring Kid of the Week every Saturday morning with me, Steve Cochran, and we appreciate that very much. Stop into Wendy's and see why they say it's just better at Wendy's. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is generally where my feet just got to move. <laughs> You know, I remember when I was a boy, yeah. my grandmother would put her on her knee and she'd start singing. You were the girl that changed my world. You were the it was kind of a family me. song for us. Yeah. You I, I said, said, Grandma, tell me about when you were a Gap Band groupie. <laughs> she couldn't tell you all the stories. Not at that age. No, not then. Some of them came out in that Rolling Stone article that I hoped would never be written. I love the Gap Band. Yeah. You know, as long as you and I have known each other, I don't know what your musical tastes are. What, what, what do you like in music? Pan flute. <laughs> Sound of fear? <laughs> yeah. Look. That's it? You know what? Whenever you say pan flute, people just automatically assume you like Sam Fear. What he does with the pan flute is not traditional good pan flute music. No kidding. I, you come over. I'll play you some great pan flute stuff. Do you play it yourself? I don't play it. Do you it, wear a tunic when you play it? Do you wear the sheet <laughs> thing? Wear, you know, yes, but in, you, know, you don't have to. How about to. sandals? Do you go with the sandals? So or always sandals are a must.